I'm making this video for you, uh, my subscribers. Uh, specifically, I'm going to answer the question of a, um, a subscriber had sent me a message. Um, I'm not going to call you out by name, but I will uh, address some of the issues, the questions that you had and that you were uh, frustrated in uh, about that. And uh, I apologize for whatever part that I had uh, failed to to uh, talk about uh, things that were more uh, uplifting than uh, not wanting to be negative. But uh, I will have to ask as well, in the beginning of your message, you, uh, you, you stated that uh, you guys, with the S or some plural, plural form, and how we had done this and that. And I wondered if you had assumed I was part of some group or not, or if you had been contacted uh, by someone claiming to represent um, the messages that I'm speaking. And if so, please realize this, and I'm trying to make this in less than, you know, seven minutes of a, a worth of talking. Uh, I myself uh, have a vis visual, um, a visionary power, a visualization I see of stuff um, that I believe is my gift. Uh, from from my God all um, all the stuff that I've seen so far just like the other uh, probably upwards of around a couple hundred million people uh, are having dreams of uh, you know meteors hitting the earth and earthquakes and this sort of thing so it's it all coincides with all the other um, things that are happening within the past 50 days um, Un unbelievable storms ever since what happened to the Philippines uh, and ISON coming close to our planet. Uh, it has been um, set into a course of overactivity so far as natural disasters are concerned. But to tell you truthfully, um, I myself, uh, I express my visions that come from the one in my belief, the one in the original God. And I also test my visions to see uh, if they will happen or not because in the old text it says to test the spirit of, of what you're receiving and so I've seen it to be what it you know is true I'm, I'm not among those who are prophesying that the things would take place on December 25th with the comet crashing into the Hudson and the other prophecies that were told about December 25th I'm not part of it I don't know who might have contacted you but I have to explain to you that I am not a religion. I am not of a religion. I have studied all the religions. But I am not a Christian. I am not a Muslim. I am not of Islam. I am not of Christendom. I am not of uh, uh, Judaism. I am not Orthodox nor unorthodox of Judaism. None of that. I am not a Scientologist. I am not a Mason. Uh, I am not with any of the... Um, what is, can be considered to be the gangs that uh, practice occultism and, and uh, there are many gangs that do that. I'm not part of those gangs. I'm not a silent partner in any um, you know, form of, uh, of the occult or any, I'm not a Satanist. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not part of a organized religion. I'm a single person, a single being, a, a, a man, an ordinary person, imperfect who simply has a, um, a, a gift for uh, envisioning or seeing things at a distance in my vision. I relay that information as I believe it to be truth to the people that uh, are interested in the same things I'm interested in, such as uh, comets and asteroids and meteors and the science, uh, the, uh, the being watchful for natural disasters and how uh, you should uh, watch out for uh, uh, for these things to happen and uh, have your spirit right and your mind form ready to accept God in case you should be in harm's way and so that is what my intention is it is not my intention to have a cult I want my subscribers to know that I do not have a cult I have not asked for any money uh, to start any you know any cult or anything I have not even asked to start a organization on the earth um, I'm simply telling you uh, to prepare that the, 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 the age 
that we know of as the technological age of the 21st century is going to come to an end, crash into an end, actually. Um, and I will stick to the point by saying I don't have an individual, I don't know who this individual is, but I've had problems with this person in the past um, being a a good-for-nothing um, liar behind my back claiming that they represented me and I'm not sure what type of organization they belong to. Uh, I, I mentioned some differences uh, of uh, uh, religious orders, if you will, that I am not an active member of. I'm not a, I'm not a silent partner in it in any way, and nor in my consciousness do I have anything to do with organized religions, including the occult or any form of religion that you could think of. I worship the one God, as the nomads did in Abraham's time, and as Moses did. And so I'm not a perfect person, but I'm simple in my in the way that I look at it. Um, I see it the way uh, that it would be seen then. However, I do believe in the Messiah, and the one that I call Zaza is actually the one who the Romans crucified. And he, his body died, and his spirit, uh, you know, went through the places and uh, was rematerialized again as a as a better form uh, that what most people know as the Messiah. Um, I will tell you again that uh, I'm disappointed that if someone has misrepresented me and uh, once again uh, tried to use my image and myself uh, to promote their delusion of a cult. Uh, I, as I said before, will see, speak a curse against such individuals, not because of myself, but because of God, that they continue to do these things. In the past, I've had problems with these fools, um, ruining the lives of people, telling them that I wanted to have things happen that I didn't, because it is an organized um, um, cancer that God is going to throw stones of fire upon soon. Um, God hates them. Uh, they do not speak to me because if I know of what they are doing, I will not, I will not tolerate them. Um, and I, I think they understand that. Um, I ask any of my subscribers not to believe anyone who comes to you and tells you anything about my situation, no matter who it is. I don't care what they are, who they are. If I am not with them bodily, then don't assume that it is my will what they are telling you no matter what they say or how much money that they have. This was something from my heart that I did to represent the visions that God gave me and the ones that I believe that God gave me and so that I should test them. I do not consider myself to be a prophet, although a lot of things that I have seen in my vision have come true. Uh, I test it and, and I'm humble about it in that way. I don't um, want anyone to uh, misrepresent me, but as you can see, the whole world is full of religions and technology that has misrepresented the natural world and polluted it, and the religions have been manipulated by people who have turned it into a business of embarrassing people and lying, using prop saints as traps, you know, their people that they put in front of the camera, uh, their women. Uh, to strip them down and to use them as traps if they can against the soul of a person who is unsuspecting. So bear in mind that there are many deceptions out there that no one is necessarily part of it consciously. Um, in whatever is going on with the, whoever has talked to you for you to send me such a message, you should go back and look at it and ask yourself if you really believe that I am part of a cult and I am not and understand that I have told you this. I hope that uh, you can still take for the message of itself and understand that what I talked about um, concerning the comet, ISON, if you will, um, is coming and will do, I believe, the things that I have seen it do in my vision. I don't know what the time of it is. I do know that it may be soon. It could be weeks. It could be a month. Sometime in the middle of January, stretching into the middle of February or longer. I'm not sure what the speed of those objects are and I don't know to do the math equation to come up with whatever number that is 
an estimate of how fast it is going now after it is broken into parts. So just remain watchful is the way that you should prophesy to tell people to remain watchful and to keep their eyes on the Spirit God and the Spirit Messiah because that is the only way through this. No one can save themselves uh, by going into tunnels and these other places that they are going. There's such destruction coming. They can break steel beams and mountains of stone be lifted up and ripped apart by the molecules what is coming. So turn to God and the kingdom as I said before to you all and all is God. So very well I tell you that in the in the time that it takes to argue all this um, these confusers and imposters who continue to say that they know me and they do not know me at all um, I don't know what else to say besides God is coming and there is wrath in God's hand and not a present for anyone who is doing these things and many innocent people will also die in this cataclysm if God has not written them in the book of life they will die in the wrath of God's day so I don't say this to make people afraid and I know and realize that you said there will be a resistance against anything that is against anyone's freedom or in to to you know cause whatever it is um, to represent something that uh, you know whatever the people were telling you to do not represent me I do not I do not want you to believe that I'm part of them because I'm not part of them now um, I will leave it with that that uh, I hope you understand the things that I say and that I meant them I still hope for you my subscribers and the rest of you who watch these things that um, there's a whole lot more um, to those particles than what they are showing you in that video footage they kept showing over and over from November the 28th. Please understand. God be with every one of you that is searching for God, all the God. And as I said, Zazad the Messiah is the way to God. Uh, I don't force my spiritual beliefs on anyone. Um, I just talk about it because I was asked to. And that's all that there is to it. I'm not looking for a cult. I, I discourage cults. I don't think that they are, they are what God's will is. So, all the God. I'll be back with another video sometime. Thanks.